What's up, guys? I'm going to show you my 2022 NFL playoff prediction, and I've already come up with my conclusion, and you guys are in for a twist. So I'm going to start over in the AFC side of things. So as you can see, we have the Buffalo Bills versus the Miami Dolphins. Um, you know, this game, it feels like it's very one-sided for the what the repercussions have been for the Dolphins. Massive amount of injuries, and it's just not looking very good. Tua Tagovailoa being out. It's just not a good fit. I really wish that he did play, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So, with that being said, though, I have the Bills not destroying them, but I definitely think it's going to be enough to say that was an ass-kicking fiesta. So, I'm taking the Bills. And then, the next one, we have the Bengals and the Ravens. We just found out Lamar Jackson is not going to be playing on Sunday against Cincinnati, leaving either Tyler Huntley or Anthony Brown to be the starting quarterback. And this one should be pretty easy. We're going to go with Cincinnati. <clears throat> the next one we have is the Chargers and the Jaguars. Probably the only AFC wildcard game that we really don't have a distinct winner. But a lot of people have different opinions. And I certainly as hell have mine. So I think with that being said, I'm going to take Jacksonville. Only because I feel like Trevor Lawrence could live up to his college football days. And I definitely think he's capable of doing it. And then we go over to the NFC side. We have the Niners and the Seahawks. Um, well, San Francisco is just undeniably like, like they're a menace right now, which is insane to think. And uh, Seattle, you know, they barely made it in. And I'm not going to disregard it because they actually had a wonderful year. Geno Smith has been phenomenal. Um, I don't, I don't see the Seahawks getting any sort of chance against San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey's been on fire. Brock Purdy's been great. Um. I, I'm sorry, Seattle. I, I have no choice, but I got to give it to San Francisco. Okay, the next one is another wild card game. We have the biggest frauds in the NFL, the Minnesota Vikings, against the New York Giants. Um, I feel like this game could go any direction. Um, I think it's going to come down to whoever makes that one critical mistake. Um, I also think it could be a defensive game. It could go any direction, like I said. Um, Wink Martindale is a phenomenal defensive coordinator for the Giants. Minnesota, obviously with Justin Jefferson, Dalvin Cook, Kirk Cousins, etc. Um, the game is in Minnesota, but there's no guarantee the Vikings uh, are going to win this game. There, There's no guarantee at that. It's not like a slam dunk like San Francisco. But I think that with being said, I'm going to take the Giants in this situation. I, I don't know why. I just, I have that feeling with them that they're going to pull it off. And then last but not least, the Monday night super wild card game is the Dallas Cowboys and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, there's a lot of pessimism in Dallas right now about this game. Uh, the Cowboys, they were very sloppy in their last regular season game against Washington not too long ago. And they just look uninspired. They just are not clicking. And hope for the sake of it, in you know, Dak Prescott's case and Mike McCarthy's case, that he can save his job. Um... Tom Brady, is, unfortunately, is the GOAT, and I think he's going to pull this off. I'm giving it to Tampa Bay. Okay. Next, we go over to the AFC side. Oh, boy. We have two good matchups right here. I'll start down here. The game that never was, the Cincinnati Bengals and the Buffalo Bills. The only biggest circumstance in this game situation is that the game would take place in western New York in Orchard Park. Uh, Buffalo having home field advantage. Joe Burrow and the Bengals proving last year that they're able to win on the road in places like Arrowhead. So I'm not counting out Cincinnati by any means. They're a very good team. I like Joe Burrow. I respect the Bengals a lot for what they've done recently and maybe the last five, six years. But I think with that being said, it's going to come down to who makes the big mistake. Is it going to be Josh Allen or is it going to be Joe Burrow? But I got to say, though, in this case, I'm giving it to Buffalo because – Cincinnati, as good as they are, they're kind of banged up on the offensive line. Okay, then the next one is Jacksonville versus Kansas City. Trevor Lawrence versus Patrick Mahomes. Now, I know they met in the regular season, but that doesn't mean anything to me. Because when it comes to the playoffs, you want to show your best effort, right? And there have been upsets in the past from the Chiefs' perspective. You know, 2018, losing to New England, and then... Jacksonville going to the conference championship, losing to New England. So I think each one of them has a brief history, but never, I think, have they never met in the playoffs. So I think it would be a very interesting game between Patty Mahomes and Trevor Lawrence. But here's my take on this. I'm going to take Jacksonville, and I'll tell you why. 
because when you look at it from the perspective of the Jaguars, they have a very good defense. I mean, they have Trayvon Walker. They have... Uh, they have a stellar defensive core, honestly. They got Trayvon Walker. They got a bunch of young guys. I mean, it's not Saxonville, but I think they could definitely do enough to get to Patrick Mahomes. The Chiefs are all about offense. I mean, their defense is okay, too, but I just think that Jacksonville has a pretty big uphill climb on that. Okay, the next one is the Giants and the 49ers. Now, a lot of you are probably saying at this point, well, the Vikings are already out. You must think that the Giants are going to lose to San Francisco, right? Wrong. I'm actually going to pick the Giants to win this game. And because, again, San Francisco is so good on both sides of the ball that, you know, the Giants have pulled off miracles before. They have. And it's not to say that with no disrespect to the Niners, I think they're phenomenal. But sometimes the playoffs can get the best out of anybody. And I think with Danny Dimes and with Saquon Barkley, if they could just run that run game and have Danny Dimes play smart football – without turning the ball over, I definitely think there's a chance. But they got to play conservatively. And San Francisco just goes in like a battery ram. And that's the, not, the the crazy thing about all this. All right. And the next one, we have the Buccaneers and the Eagles. Well, this one's in Philly. It should be swapped, but whatever. Uh, this one should be pretty easy. I'm going with Philadelphia. It's no surprise. Philly has just been lights out this year. Uh, A.J. Brown is phenomenal. Jalen Hurts is playing like a playoff MVP. Uh, and their defense is rock solid. I like the secondary moves, and they have a top draft pick coming up in April. So Philadelphia, man, they're they're starting to get really damn good. And I'm not a big fan of the Eagles, but I definitely have to say they're building a really good football team down there. All right, so we have our final four contestants for Super Bowl 57, and then over here in the AFC we have the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen versus Trevor Lawrence. Um, I think the Bills would love to get revenge from that regular season game after being embarrassed in Duval last season. I know it was a regular, ski, uh, regular season game and all that. I get it. But Jacksonville, man, I'm telling you, you know, knocking out the Chiefs, I think that would be a huge gimme in this situation. But uh, going into Buffalo, playing Josh Allen, possibly in a snow game, that's going to be tough because I don't think Trevor Lawrence is ever playing in a snow game. So I think in this scenario, this would be a gimme for uh, Buffalo in this situation. Home field advantage, Bills Mafia going nuts like normal. So I have no choice. And because of the experience, I have to go with the Bills. They're just too dominant at home right now. And then for the NFC side, we have the NFC East rivals, the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, See, the thing with the Giants is... They're not good against the Eagles this year, both home and road. Didn't matter. I know they lost only by a touchdown with Davis Webb and a bunch of backups, but the Eagles were basically resting their starters, and they basically just played it down, and Philly ultimately won the game. So I think that's what it really comes down to. But when it comes to, like, Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, etc., Philadelphia is just so much better than them on every level. But I have no choice at this point. Sorry, Giants. I got to eliminate you from the playoffs. So now we have our final two contestants, Super Bowl 57, between the Buffalo Bills and the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, both teams are rock solid on both sides of the ball. Jalen Hurts is phenomenal. Uh, A.J. Brown's having a great year. Stephon Diggs is amazing. Josh Allen is in the MVP conversation, same with Hurts. Their defenses are great, but the secondary is what makes it important. And assuming Mike High plays, uh... I really like Buffalo's chances. I'm not saying that because I'm a Bills fan, but just from the ground up, getting Michael behind back right before the playoffs is huge. Uh, Philadelphia is getting healthier as well. They got Fletcher Cox. They got uh, uh, Robert Quinn. They got a bunch of young talents. Namika Sue. They got some great veteran presence and depth. And Buffalo, same thing all around. And Gabriel Davis could do some damage as well. So I really like what Buffalo has going for them. The biggest factor is the run game from both sides. Both the Bills and the Eagles don't have the best run game of the world, but Buffalo likes to switch it up. Philadelphia as well, but it's not as impactive as, like, let's say, James Cook and Devin Singletary. So I think it's going to come down to who makes the biggest mistake. And I think the game will end in a field goal by a score of 24-21 Bills. And there you have it. There's your Super Bowl 57 champion, Buffalo Bills. So I'll talk to you guys later. And...